I have I have a bolt here that is I have a bolt here that's snapped. So we're going to have to drill it out. We'll install the big certs. Uh, the big certs are time certs, a little bit larger, uh, designed for failed Healy coils, which we do have one Healy coil here on the bottom that did fail. Uh, it started pulling out. So here we go. But I took out Robin on that 60 foot and I started laughing on him. I was like, no trash in there, buddy? Kid has no idea what he has. Am I going the right way? Oh yeah, it's over on the corner. It's a lot of horsepower for somebody who has no experience. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. so you, the car is so cheap and so fast that everybody gets it and they wreck it and they just give the whole community a bad name. Buddy, we are now at a Starbucks in the valley. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> it was like just yesterday, it was 31. Happy birthday, my new. Happy birthday to you. Stimulus check. <laughs> <laughs> I want my The fans are like, nah, man. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, shh. You've you seen that uh, that movie, The Other Guys, right? And everybody's applauding him. And also the guy who has the hot dog stand, he's like, free hot dogs for life. And they're like, yeah. He's like, but no drinks, no drinks. And they're like, oh, he's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> the guy was like, I can't do it. Where am I at? I am at the point of no return. I already started drilling out. I drilled out the, uh, I drilled out the threads on these. That one was broken. The Healy coils that I had, uh, some of them were good, others were not. I got something different. I got what's called uh, big certs, which are made by time cert. And these are solid wall bushings these are solid bushings that have threaded uh, a wall on, on the inside and the outside. Uh, this locks in. People compare these two all the time. I have yet to use them. I've always used helicoils, but we're gonna see how they work. I got these bolts from Amazon, so I needed longer bolts to put the bracket on. As soon as I started tightening it down, pa, snapped in half. I said, you piece of junk. Mm -hmm. And you know, so don't buy these. Clipsandfasteners.com. I ordered some ARP bolts. They just came in. I got these time certs in that we're installing. We're gonna install the rest of the time certs in right now. And then we'll put the bracket on. Hopefully no leaks, hopefully everything works out the way it's supposed to. Uh, the weather kind of sucks, so if we do take a run, it's only gonna be, we're not gonna give it all she's got on a run today. But I think that's where we're at right now. So these are the new ARP bolts. Um, the quality is definitely a hundred, hundred times better. Oh yeah, so smooth too. And hopefully they don't pull out. I do have this bad ass tool right here. Got this at Harbor Freight. This thing is awesome. Got this at Walmart. <laughs> Helps me get into those tight spots. It's got a long ass uh, trigger here so I can put a deep down inside. I love this bitch. Charge that up. So this is gonna charge up. Right now we're gonna go ahead and remove the, um, I guess we're gonna re remove the radiator fan. That way we have a little bit more room to work here on the bottom. And we'll go from there. I'm gonna use this right here to take the Healy coil out. Oh man, that one came out real easy. Improper installation, man. Huh? Switch to the 
chamfer. This is why it's important to keep all your shit together. Oh, I lost my chamfer. Found it. This doesn't look crooked. There you go. That looks straight. I got the larger ones. It comes with these short ones right here. I got some longer ones. That way I can get the threads as far as possibly could go. Uh, we have to tap it. You can use grease. You can use nothing. I don't know. We'll just do it like this. Ready to tap? Tap, tap, tap. Watch, watch, tip tap. There we go. I'm gonna lock tight it also. Some do, some don't. Some put oil in it. I'm gonna say that the lock tight's gonna lubricate it on the way in and lock it in at the end. They're supposed to mechanically lock in by the threads at the end because it's supposed to push out and then that right there is supposed to cut. But why not? Fuck it. Ta-da! So now I got a nice new insert here, yeah. There you go. That's gonna be awesome. This one's an oversized kit because you already had to drill it out to put the helicoil in. So now you gotta drill it out even more to put this sucker in. So you wanna get the big cert. It's, uh, it's pretty expensive, but if it works, It'll be worth the money. If it doesn't work, oh well. Guess I'll just go home and cry. Mm -hmm. So now we gotta drive to a different city and go pick this part up. Uh, it's about 30, 40 miles away. So it's gonna be a little trip. We're gonna take the kid and go pick up the part. One thing, because this gasket was a little moved, the bolt went in crooked and it just destroyed the first couple of threads here. I mean, it looks a lot worse because we had to, we had to pull it out, but because the hole was just slightly offset like that, well, the bolt went in a little crooked and it fucked everything up. So we made a mistake. We learned from the mistake. We're going to pay for the mistake and hopefully have this ten, done ten dollars today yeah this ten dollar mistake right here it's a ten dollar fuck up right there buddy but i mean i guess we needed a new gasket the other way right i was filming for a new gasket yeah we needed a new, gasket. a new gasket it's all pretty in there i, I would tell you this it was extremely difficult to get that out after you put the loctite in and you seat the threads it was damn near impossible to pull out we had to use a torch and heat up the aluminum all the way around it to expand it to get it out. It was a pain in the ass, but 30 minutes later, we got it out, which makes me feel kind of confident that these aren't gonna pull out as easy. They definitely don't back out if you go, you know, you go your bolt all the way in, you go to back it out, they won't reverse, which is great. So let's get the kid uh, dressed uh and ready and put them in the car and then we'll take uh the new suv the new to me suv and 
drive to Harlingen. Going on a road trip. Going on a road trip. We're going on a road trip, son. You ready? Here, we got food. Got the uh, gasket put on. I got those dowel pins that I was talking about installed. Uh, there's one right there. There's another one right there. That was uh, needed. That was needed to center up the VTC cover. So now that we got the cover centered up, the gasket's good to go. I went ahead and put all my bolts in just to make sure that everything was lined up i tightened these three on the bottom this one this one and there's one down there uh to secure this cover in place bracket will go here here and here and here so uh five bolts these will come out the bracket will go on first we'll thread it in let's make sure that everything uh everything fits nicely so let's do that now give me just a minute all right, so where we're at right now is the pulley does not sit flush because when it's all the way flush like that, it actually hits against the head of the new bolts that I put in. Anyway, so I removed this one. I got a large drill bit right now. Uh, this one should be able to cut it pretty flat. And I'm gonna go ahead and countersink this hole right here. All right, so I got the pulleys on. Got the pulleys on, had to Modify it a little bit, like I said. Way to sink these bolts down a little bit. So I went ahead and drilled out here and here. Do they clear? Barely. Those some clears. Barely. But it's enough. And if it moves around, it doesn't hit it, which is great. And I think all that's left really is to Put the spacer here for the blower. Attach everything on the back. And we should have a, and then we should have a functional car. So let's see. So it is complete. The only thing I can see right now that may be an issue is that the belt is really close to the end of the idler. But no problem, we can space it. Alright, so it turns on. The belt hasn't moved much. Uh, it actually went, uh, remember how I said it's a little too close to this side of it? Well, when we turned it on, it moved to the inside. I do have a little bit of oil here, so that means my gasket, something is leaking somewhere over here. Uh, not really sure yet, 
gotta take it all apart to figure it out. Need to charge the battery up. I also need to take it and do a couple of hard revs on it and see does the belt move. Uh, right now the weather kind of is kind of wet still, but we'll take it out. So far so good. Now we have to address that oil leak uh, as you saw earlier. I'm gonna take the bracket back off, take the timing cover back off, double check the gasket, maybe it moved a little. 